The purpose of our Frappe campaign is to look into the summertime pollution in the Colorado Front Range. The Colorado Front Range has a summertime ozone problem, so we frequently experience very, very high levels of ozone that exceed the health standards and are really a big concern for human health. And so with the campaign, we want to look at all the different factors that drive summertime ozone pollution and want to understand how these factors work together. Summertime ozone also impacts our environment. For example, it damages vegetation, it reduces crop yields, so it's also a very important consideration for the economy. There is a large number of groups involved in the campaign. So Frappe itself is funded by the National Science Foundation and the state of Colorado. And so NCAR, we are taking the lead on the campaign basically. Um, but there is really, a, it includes a lot of air quality agencies, uh, such as the Colorado Department of Health and the Environment. They play a major role in here, the Regional Air Quality Council, EPA. We have a lot of groups from in-state universities as well as out-of-state universities and also a strong involvement from NOAA. Uh, Discovery Q is a NASA-led field campaign that wants to uh, establish the link between what satellites see and uh, air quality at the surface. Well, the two campaigns are fully complementary and they really uh, work very closely together. In order to understand ground level ozone, um, one must measure not only ozone itself, but also all the compounds that contribute to its formation. Ozone is not directly emitted. It is formed from pollutants that are coming from both human caused sources and also natural sources. When these compounds combine in the atmosphere and react in sunlight, ozone is formed. The chemical formula of ozone is O3. In contrast to O2, which we all need to breathe, and survive. O3 is a very strong oxidizer and it can damage tissue as well as plants and crops. Weather has a profound effect on air quality. Since sunlight is needed to produce ozone, ozone is mainly a problem in the summer uh, during times when uh, there are no clouds and clear days and warm temperatures. The Northern Colorado Front Range is characterized by a unique meteorology that is driven by the proximity to the mountains. In the summer, pollution can be trapped and recirculated day after day, so it can accumulate and you are essentially starting with the previous day pollution and adding onto it for days at a time. The combination of four aircraft and a number of ground-based measurements will allow us to not only characterize all emissions that combine with the urban emissions from a Colorado Front Range area, but also accurately describe all meteorological processes that contribute to local air quality. While emissions from single pollution sources such as cars and power plants and industry have been reduced considerably, we have come a long way since pollution days of the 50s and 60s in places like Los Angeles or the East Coast. However, air pollution is not a solved problem. The number of miles driven and the amount of energy generated is many times larger than it was in the 50s and 60s today. We're also looking ahead in time. We also have to consider that with climate change, ozone pollution is expected to get worse. So we will have higher temperature or more stagnation events, for example, which would worsen our ozone pollution problems. So we also have to find ways to counteract these feedbacks. With this summer's campaigns, what we want to achieve is a very much improved understanding of all the factors that control summertime ozone pollution. This knowledge will help us to improve our models and our predictions, and it will also give us very important insight into which knobs do we have to turn if we want to bring our pollution levels down to a level that we can consider as safe for us and for the environment.